Hello friends, in this video we are going to install Laravel 12 on our Mac operating system from scratch. So there are a few steps that we are going to take. We are going to install XAMPP, we are going to install Composer and finally we are going to install Laravel 12. First we are going to install XAMPP. We are going to download XAMPP from apachefriends.org website. We are going to install the latest version that is 8.2.4. And finally, we are going to install XAMPP on our Mac operating system. So here we are going to click on download. And you can see uh, the download is for Windows, uh, browsers, Linux and Mac operating system. Uh, we are going to download the latest version in Mac operating system and that is the 8.2.4. So we are going to download this version. So download has been started. You can see. We are already having the XAMPP old version installed at our system. Here you can see. So we can simply rename it. If you are having the old version of XAMPP then you can simply rename it okay go in inside your uh, hard disk and here application where you have installed the xam so here already i am having the xam underscore all this uh, i have done the last time now once again i am required to do uh, required to make it old so instead of making it old i'm going to make it xam 2024 okay so so that i can install the new version of xam with the name xam so we are just required to rename and our download has been done. I'm going to the download folder. We can simply check in the downloads and here you can see the uh, XAMPP has been downloaded. So now we are ready to install it. It is showing one error. XAMPP operating system 8.2.4 installer cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. So for resolving this issue we can search all uh, this one uh, online okay i'm going to simply copy this one and uh, we can search in google or we can search in GPT. i can just simply paste this one here see these are the steps that we are required to take uh, so that it will allow our installation so we are going going to the system settings okay so we are going to take the settings i'm going to open the system settings then privacy privacy and security after that uh, we will go to the scroll down and we, we can see the XAMPP here somewhere here we can see here we can click on open anyway and we can give the system password here and modify setting so we can click on open and once again we will give the password yes click on allow so it is already installing and I think now it must get installed. See now the installation has been started. You can see we can just click on next, next and next and next. Okay. So finally the installation has been started. So you need to make sure that you rename your old XAMPP. Okay, and also you can uh, remove your old XAMPP from if you have added somewhere you can remove from here so so that you can add here the new one. Okay, remove from sidebar. We are going to add the new one here. So we can check out the installation is under process.
we are going to click on allow finally we are going to click on finish so the app has been installed open the applications and we can see the new folder is here xamp folder is here we have already renamed the old folder to xamp underscore 2024 and this one is our new xamp so it also open the xamp panel so we can run the apache apache server is already running and we can run the mysql server as well mysql database as well we can click allow once again and mysql database is also running now now we can check the installation here we can open uh, the local host here here we can see the xamp apache plus bar adb php pearl welcome to xamp for os uh, 8.2.4 okay so we can check the php info from here and we can check the version it's php version 8.2.4 that is the required version for laravel 12 so uh, this one is fine and we can also check the php my admin so php my admin is also working fine after installing the xam we are going to install composer we are going to take below steps for installing the composer on our mac operating system we are going to open brew.sh website in our browser and will follow further steps so for installing homebrew we are required to copy this command we can click here and then we are going to open the terminal and we'll paste this command here and run this command so it will ask the system password we are going to give the system password here and click enter once again we are going to click enter so you can see it is installing downloading and installing homebrew it will take few settings so the homebrew has been installed now we are going to follow the next step so uh, this homebrew has been installed now we are ready to install the composer we are going to run this command brew install composer to install the composer in our macro system uh, inside terminal where we have installed the homebrew okay so we are going to install now composer brew install composer so it is downloading composer now the latest version of composer that is 2.7.2 here you can check out the composer version that is the latest 2.7.2 is installing now Uh, the composer has been installed uh, we can run the composer and can see the composer command is running fine okay uh, we can update the composer as well uh, so these are the command that can help us to update the composer composer self update if you will run the composer self update then it will help us to update the composer okay so like this uh, you are already using the latest version of composer so that's why composer version is already 2.8.5 so it will not uh, run the update so we can check the composer version with this command as well composer hyphen hyphen version so we can run this one and it will uh, php version is 8.4.4 and composer version is 2.8.5 okay so uh, our composer is working fine after installing the composer we are ready to install laravel 12 on our mac operating system we are going to follow below steps to install laravel 12 after that we are going to run laravel 12 then finally we are going to check the laravel version let's install laravel 12 with this command composer create project i'm going to copy this command we'll go to my xamp folder it is located 
in my application that I have installed earlier. Here in XAMPP folder, I will right click on HD Docs folder, click on services, then new terminal add folder. And I am going to run here, I'm going to paste composer create uh, this command and blog I am going to replace uh, with the project name and project name I am going to keep Laravel 12. I am going to run this. See here it is installing Laravel 12. It will take few minutes to install Laravel 12. Finally, Laravel 12 has been installed. Now we will go inside the folder that is Laravel 12, CD Laravel 12. And now we are going to run PHP artisan serve command to run our Laravel 12 project. Yes, it's running. And now we are going to run this one here. This IP port is always 8000 here we can see the laravel 12 is finally running and it it is having new look uh, let's get started laravel has an incredibly rich ecosystem we suggest starting with the following read the documentation watch video tutorials at laracast so here we are going to click on documentation and you can see the Laravel 12 documentation here. So finally, Laravel 12 has been launched and we able to install Laravel 12 and we are going to start the multi-vendor e-commerce website in Laravel 12. So please subscribe to the channel. You can open the Stack Developer YouTube channel. YouTube.com Stack Developers. You can open this channel, subscribe the channel for more Laravel updates and for multi-vendor e-commerce website in Laravel. Hello friends, welcome to Stack Developers YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to see new features and enhancements of Laravel 12 in this video. So let's start. So please subscribe. You can also join the channel and get the complete source code of the earlier multi-vendor e-commerce series. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Goodbye.